Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about AirDrop and being able to send and receive files or uh, photos. So here are some tips and tricks how to solve your AirDrop problems. First of all, let's just see how it works when it actually works. So in here you can say share a photo and uh, I can click the AirDrop and I will see the devices that is nearby my iPad here. Just simply click the name and here you can see on the other iPad, I get a decline accept photo. I click accept and on this iPad, you can now see that it say sent and everything is now sent to the other iPad. But the, the reason you are here is probably because it is not working. So let's go into the settings go into general and here we have a section called airdrop and in here you have three different options for your uh, airdrop settings the first one is receiving off then you are not able to receive any airdrop files then only contacts so it is only the contacts that you know of that will be able to send you anything and then we have the last one that i suggest you use if you're not able to make it work so that everyone can send within the next 10 minutes a file to your iPad. So these are the simple settings for the AirDrop settings. Another thing that I would recommend you to look at is your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings, or at least make a reboot or a restart of your Bluetooth service, simply like that and do the exact same thing for your Wi-Fi. So simply turn it off and turn it on. I have seen that work uh, and a solution for airdrop issues. Next thing you could also have a look at is, of course, your iOS updates. So you need to be on the last version of the iOS to make it work or at least that could be an issue if you're not on the latest version of the iOS. So make sure that your iPad iPhone is up to date and do the exact same thing for the uh, other device that you are trying to either receive or send the file to. So they are on the same version of the iOS. Another thing, we also have a quick access to the AirDrop settings. So here you can see the exact same uh, settings that we just saw before. It is just an easy way to make either only being able to use for contacts or for everyone. So these are a quick access to the settings for the AirDrop. Another thing is to make sure that your devices are close together. So if you want to send a file to another device, make sure it is in at least the same room and at least make it within a meter or two to each other so we are sure that these devices can actually connect to each other and can see each other through the bluetooth connection so make sure the devices are close together and another thing i always recommend when we have issues with the software on an ipad or iphone is to make a reboot of your device so just simply do the normal reboot procedure slide to the uh, right and make sure you reboot your device. This uh, can actually solve a lot of problems and I always recommend that in my videos to make sure that you have a clean and fresh iPad or device. Another thing, if you are using an iPad for this, oh no, not an iPad, an iPhone exactly. So there you have the personal hotspot you can turn on if you have the hotspot turned on where you share your mobile device connection with other devices, then make sure that is turned off and that you will find in the settings. You, you will not see it on this iPad, but in the settings, you will have the personal hotspot and make sure that one is off. Then we have uh, one last thing that I would like you to have a look at. And that is if none of the already shown uh, fixes don't work on your device, then I will definitely uh, recommend you to do a reset. 
So go into general in your settings, go down here, transfer and reset iPad, then click the reset. And in here you will need to reset your network settings. That is at least a good try. And I have seen that work for some of my issues when I didn't have a airdrop functionality that is working. So make sure to reset your network settings just to make sure that everything is at a clean state. And after that reset, you will of course have to connect to your Wi-Fi and make sure that your Bluetooth connection is turned on. I hope these tips and tricks for your airdrop issues could help you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, put it in the comments section underneath this video. Any uh, suggestions for a new video also is very recommended for, for the comments. And if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, give me a subscribe. I really appreciate this. Thanks a lot and see you next time.